Hi, I was cleaning out my apartment today and I found this journal from freshman year. I thought I'd share. Uh, April 11th, 2014. Today I began to understand one of the immutable truths with regard to my own existence. Today I discovered that I am not a being surrounded by walls and barriers, but part of a continuum with all other things, those living and even those inanimate. I feel a new surge of desire for life, for, for living now, for getting out and becoming part of everything around me. I wanna change the world and I know I can do it. I'm like a newborn baby taking his first steps. I was blind before to my inner self, my true desires, my own special powers. So many people live lives out of pointless desperation, unable to appreciate that life is life to be lived for today. In every flower, in a cloud, in a smile, I also realized today that Linda and I have to break up. I realize now that her lack of imagination has been holding me back. She's been trying to mold me into someone I will never be. She's too somber, too materialistic, too straight. She thinks that life must be lived in the straight and narrow, but, but she's wrong and I learned that today. Today, I learned that, that life is an adventure for people with courage. I guess everything began when I dropped that acid that Mike gave me for my birthday. When I got off, I decided to take a bath. And I was watching the water, just thinking about how beautiful it looked, how... I've never really noticed how beautiful bath water looked before. When out of nowhere, I hear this incredible music like chimes. Eventually, I realized it was the front door bell. And then I thought, I better go answer it. You never know. And I stood up and realized <laughs> I was wet and naked. And then I thought, hey, so what? <laughs> What difference does it make, really, in the grand scheme of things? So I went to the door, and it was this girl I, from down the street who I've never met before, and I forgot what she wanted, but I invited her in, and this is the really strange part. She came in. So there we were in my parents' living room, and I'm naked, and she's beautiful, so I made some tea. Then we just sat and talked about everything. And I realized that I have this incredible power over people, almost messianic. And then I kissed her and we were kissing and I was naked and I had this erection and she looked at it and suddenly she said she had to leave. And I said, why? And then we met each other's eyes for a long time. And she said, because she realized that I was a very special person and that she didn't want to ruin a special moment with something as common as sex. And I understood deep down what she meant. I understood that she meant that we were connecting in a much deeper way. That it was all too much for right now. And she left and I started to think that I must be the kind of man that women find irresistible. That I am special, that I have powers others don't have and that I can't let myself be hindered. So I just lay down on the floor naked, tripping, and I could feel the power moving through me as if the whole world lay under me just to hold me up. I was literally on top of the world. I felt like God. That was around five hours ago. 
and I'm pretty straight now. After I write this down, I'm going to call Linda and tell her it's over between us. Then I'm going to wait for my parents and tell them I'm dropping out of Boston University. There's really no point to a liberal arts degree now with all the potential I have within me. I've decided to take my savings, $1,000, and move to Portland, Oregon for a while. I think that'll be a good place to begin. Until tomorrow, Shanti.